My name's Dave. This is the Pinnet Racing Channel. <clears throat> if you notice, I, I am getting kind of fat. Yeah, I gotta work on that. I have to work on that. Okay, well, this is cool because I'm gonna take my 2023 KTM 300 XC two-stroke and I'm going to go to Bonneville and try to set a land speed record on it at 140 miles an hour. It isn't gonna be easy. The record's 139. I'm going to see if I can beat it. But this will be fun because we have a lot of stuff to talk about. I have a lot of stuff to figure out. I have a lot of stuff to test. There's all kinds of cool new things in the works, which are gonna be great for you as the consumer. However, I think it's good to go through a next little learning set of what's going on in the engine because as we make changes, it will help you understand what's a cruising, what's a go by not. So let me get to the lowdown here. We have three types of compression in a two stroke. A four stroke only has two types. Uh, two stroke has three types because you have compression primary first as the piston's going up and your reed valve or your piston port or your uh, rotary valve, whatever's underneath the piston, as the piston goes up, it creates the suction cycle. And we talked about that before where the higher pressure outside in the air rushes to the lower pressure. That's what's happening there. So as that comes up, we have primary compression and it draws all the fresh air in underneath the piston and into the crankcase area. So as the piston's all the way at top dead center, all the volume underneath the piston, all of the volume underneath the piston, which is everything in the cylinder and the crankcase and whatever else it can fill, um, gets filled. As the piston comes down all the way to bottom dead center, you now have that primary compression. So you've taken a bigger area of air and you've shoved it into a smaller area, things compressed. That's it, that's primary compression. Under piston, you can remember that. Uh, or you can also remember that's your intake cycle or suction cycle. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, honestly, because you know that stuff's pretty well figured out and things don't really change a whole lot there. I will hit on that a little bit later on though, um, how things affect it, but I don't want to make it too long. Secondary. Now, this is where two-stroke comes in because you have transfer ports. Transfer ports are the things on the side of the cylinder. What do you see on the bulges on the side right here? And all that does is when the piston goes down, these transfer ports that are in here uncover and all that pressure, the, all your air fuel, shoves through these ports on top of the piston and now we've transferred our primary compression on top of the piston and we get into the secondary or static cranking compression. So if you're turning your bike over and just checking it on a compression gauge, that's what you're measuring, secondary or static or cranking compression because the bike isn't running things are static, it's not moving very fast, it's not gonna fluctuate unless you change things in your cylinder head or your bore. Basically, your cylinder head would change your static. So that's pretty easy to understand. So 225 PSI versus 185, and you'll see that change. You know, as you change elevations, as you change cylinder heads, you will see that change. But then we have our big boy, and this is the one that really dictates how power changes, and that's what we're gonna, you know, focus most of our time on. And yes, secondary does change actual or running compression, and so does primary, but they don't change it hugely. So the biggest deal in compression is the actual or running compression when the engine is actually running. And when you look at a power graph, as the power builds over a specific RPM, that is running compression, it's running, and you notice that it changes. So, good question, does that mean the compression 
actually changed the running compression. So did that actually change in the engine? Yes, it did. And that changing, when you don't know what's going on, that's what can cause you big issues. The bike doesn't rev out, the bike blows up, the bike detonates, the bike puts a hole through its piston. You know, everything works together, things are fighting each other. That's where things get serious is running compression and it is always changing. So that's what we're gonna spend most of our time with. So I think these two, I'm just gonna kind of leave these things for now. Um, as I explain this, this will come into effect and you'll understand it all just a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna move on to another video so things don't get too long. And the next one we will break down this. Let's go, man, because we got a lot of stuff to test on this bike and I want you to know why what we did affected that. Gotta go racing.